Easy crew, back once again with another video. So I've decided to get this little overhead cam thing set up, guys. It's just a little experiment. Uh, I thought, you know, this would be pretty cool. Show you guys what, you know, what we're getting up to with the with this Akai now. So as you know, guys, I've been trying to get this Akai repaired. And I just wanted to share with the community, um, you know, what's going on with it. And uh, so... We've got this motherboard here, uh, and at the moment, uh, I don't know if you can see, uh, but look, um, I've got I've replaced all the caps on this so far. Uh, they're not all soldered in yet because I'm waiting on one more cap to come, and this is a 0. Uh, what was it again? 0. 0.47, 0. 0.47 microfarad capacitor, uh, which I'm replacing on this board here, and then this board will be pretty much done apart from these. Uh, trans transistors or MOSFETs or whatever they are in this bit here. Yeah, so I wanted to show you guys something right and this is for all the techies that have been commenting on the channel who know about you can see there's some guys out there that know about the old electronics So I wanted to share this with you guys, right? So let's get this over here Let's get a little bit of video light going so you guys can see what's going on and let's get you zoomed in a little bit on it as well and what I want to show you guys is there's a chip that is actually giving me some strange readings. So let's kind of position this. Obviously, it's all off, guys. Let's put the multimeter there. Well, it's just right over the chip so you can't really see it. Right. Now, I want to show you something, right? Now, these are the chips that are in the, in the actual uh, machine, right? So I'm going to set my meter to diode mode, right? I'm going to put my earth on the chassis, not my earth, sorry, my, my positive on the chassis. And look, you could see I'm getting a 0.6. Well, that's upside down, so that's not helping. <laughs> right, hang on, guys. Right, so you can see, right, I'm getting a 0.6 diode drop. 0.4 in that one. 0.4 in that one. 0.4 in that one. Another short. No, look at look at this. Look at the readings, right? So we've got a few shorts on this on this actual chip here. Can you actually see it? You can't even can't even see it. Oh, what? Hang on, mate. Hang on, hang on. Let me get you over here a bit. Oh crap! Look at me. Right. Let's see if we can see that now. Can you guys see that? Right. Here we go. I think you can see that better now. Right, so check this. Pin one, which is earth, yeah. Pin two, point six. This is this is actually quite tricky. Try zooming out a bit more now. So you can see that multimeter. Right, so you know what I'm doing now, right? I'm on the pins, yeah? So let's go. So we got this pin. Yeah. Earth, I guess. 0 0.6 diode drop. 0 0.6. 0 0.6. 0 0.6, lovely. 0 0.6. 0 0.6. 0 0.6. Watch this one. 0 0.6. 0 0.6. 0 0.6. Bit of a short now. Now, look at this one. 0.6. Short there, same pin again. Look, look at that. Yeah, look, this one's got three, sh three shorts on it. Point six, point six, or point sixes and point five. Normal diode drops. Look, there's, there's one there short. So it could be a dodgy chip. I know it's a bit awkward, you can't see it, but I'm getting a lot, lot of short pins coming up. There's a short there. I'm wondering if like what you guys are saying is like maybe overpowered and some of these chips have got damaged. 
Look at that. 0.6. Short. Short. Look at that. Two shorts on the same chip. Another short. Yeah, guys, so have a look at that video. Tell me what you think, guys, and uh, comment down below. Let me know what you reckon. Do you think these chips are a bit dodgy? I also want to show you guys something as well, but I can't power it up at the moment, but I put this chip here on my thermal camera. And I don't know if any of you guys have got a thermal camera to check your the actual chip temperature, but this one was getting quite warm which I believe is uh, is RAM. That chip there is warm, it's RAM, right? Quick test on that for those who are gonna say, you know, test it, right? I know we have, we need probably need an oscilloscope to do this, right? But oscilloscope is not something that I've got. All right, there you go. All right, there you go, another short there. Cool, blimey. Have we got short on one of these rails or what? Now, obviously, we need to look at the data sheet. So where it's beeping, obviously, it's a short. Right, there you go. That's the setting for that. Guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think. You know, if you've got anything out of this video, if you found it interesting, let me know in the comments down below. Right, guys. Peace out.